One more? Wow. Morakai Honored. This is going to be all of Vester Chapter 6. Mm hmm. That night, the king could not sleep, so he ordered the Book of the Chronicles, the record, the record, record of his reign, to be brought in and read to him. Well, do you find your reign that boring? Boring, your Majesty, that you need to listen it to it to fall asleep, or are you that egotistical where it's ah? Tell me how great I am. Ah, yes. <coughs> Decide it below in the comments. In it was found recording there that Mordecai had exposed Bigithana, B I G T H A N A, and ter Trebish, T E R E S H, two of the kings. Officers who w guarded the doorway and who had conspired to assassinate King, Xerx King Xerxes. Is this the same Xerxes from the King from 300? Actually, I think it is. Do that what you will. What? Honor and recognition has Mordecai received for this, the king asks. Nothing has been done for him. His attendants answered. The king said, Who's in the court? Now Haman, H-A-M-A-N, had just entered the outer court of the palace to speak to the king about impaling Mordecai on the pole that he had set up for him. His attendants answered, Haman is sitting in the court. Bring him in, the king ordered. When Haman entered, the king asked him what should be done for the man the king delights to honor. Now, he thinks he's talking. Haman thinks the king's talking about him. Now Haman thought to himself, Who is there that the king would rather honor than me. <coughs> hmm. So he answered the king, For the man the king delights to honor, have them bring a royal robe the king has worn, and a horse the king has ridden, one with a royal chest plate, no chest Peace, place, chest plate, and whatever, on its head. And no, then let the robe and horse be entrusted to one of the king's most noble princes. Let them, let them robe the man. The king delights to honor, and lead him on the horse through the city streets. <coughs> now that, yeah, that would be a good, like, a fine horse, a very fine robe, the finest in all the land because it's the king, it's like made from silk from China. Praetor on the city, oh, yeah, that would honor so. Proclaiming... And proclaiming before him, this is what is done for the man the king delights to honor. Ooh, that too, that, that would be nice and make sense, yeah. Like, look, look what the king can do to honor people. This, don't you want to be honored by the king to, and be treated like this? This is what happens, so be good, I guess. Go at once. The king commanded Haman, get the robe and the horse, and do just as you have suggested for Mordecai the Jew, who sits at the king's gate, and, no, there's no end. Do not neglect anything you have recommended. 
Can you imagine its face just to try not to turn into a scowl as you just like, oh, yes, your majesty. <laughs> yeah. So Haman got the robe and the horse and robed Mordecai and led him on horseback through the city gate no, through the city streets, proclaiming before him, This is what is done for the man the king delights to honor. Imagine if we did this with, like, no, no, skinny mustache man. Make it, made him go around with, like, some Jew in, like, Germany in singing the Jews' praises. Oh, that would probably be torture for him. And good, he deserves it. Um, anyway, after Mordecai returned to the king's gate, no, afterwards Mordecai returned to the king's gate, but Haman rushed home. Yeah, anti-Semite had to give honor and praise to a Semite. Ha <laughs> ha. Actually, no way. Oh wait, Persians, Persians are also Semitic. Oh wait, yeah, they are. Oh wait, anti-Semitic doesn't technically work here if you go by Son of Shem. That is Jew. Huh. Rustom, with his head covered in grief, and told Zeresh, C-E-R-E-S-H, his wife, and all his friends, everything that had happened to him. He kind of his friends, they just hang out around him because they want power too. You know, they're like the groupies that followed the popper killer kid. <laughs> yeah. His advisors and his wife, Zura, said to, no, since... No, yeah, said to him, since the Mordecai, before whom your downfall, ha downfall has started, is of Jewish origin, you cannot stand against him. You will surely come to ruin. Okay. Okay. Everyone else, oh wait, he's Jewish? Everyone else who has treated the Jews badly. How bad things happen to them. These are the smartest people in all of human history. Wow. <laughs> they figured anyone who treats the Jews badly, bad things happen to them. Solution? It's the Jews alone. These people are ten times smarter than a whole lot of people. Wow. While they were still talking with him, the king's entrenches. E U N U C H S arrived and hurried Haman away to the banquet Esther had prepared. Eleven 